The man accused of beating a blind homeless man to death is undergoing a mental evaluation. It's been more than a month since David Warren died. The community held a memorial today in his honor. And as News Channel 5's Matthew Torres reports, his death helped piece together an unlikely mystery. Eddie Worley, Ben Wilkerson, Joanne White, Philip Woodland. They're not just words on paper. Will, Big Will, Camp, Milton Toon. Each name carries a burden. Benjamin Wilkins. Advocate Lindsey Krinks has marked across her heart. Just because someone's homeless doesn't mean they don't matter. <laughs> She's completing a list of the 100 homeless men and women in Nashville who died last year. All sad, but not all as tragic. We wanted to make sure David's name was on this list. As David warns. He was able, as a blind man, to navigate this city and this world in a way that leaves me in awe. The 49-year-old may have been blind, but that never defined him. Brave and courageous and kind. He was magnetic. He pulled people to him. But just two days before Christmas, Warren was killed. Metro police say he was beaten to death at the bus station parking garage in downtown. And more than a month later, the community held a memorial to remember him at his favorite place, the library. It was a refuge, a sanctuary for him. The memorial landed on the same day a court hearing was scheduled for the suspect. Brandon Brown is accused of killing Warren with a fire extinguisher. I got some silence in that knowing that someone... Um, for him. But Warren's sister says she's not angry. She's at peace knowing her older brother had support, even though family dynamics kept her from ever meeting him. It hit me and I cried because I never got a chance to actually, hey, put a face to the person that I'm related to. Warren is originally from Memphis, who became blind after a bullet in a shootout ricocheted. She's now learning he spent 17 years in prison and was released in 2015 before moving to Nashville. You never even knew your brother left prison until you found out he died? Right. But wow. even then, she knew she had to bring him back home where he was cremated. Now, I don't have to meet him to, to love him. I don't have to meet him to, to just step in when I need to step in as a sibling. I just couldn't see him being thrown away. His name is far from thrown away. In a list showing loss after loss. Benjamin Wilkins, Philip Woodward. Warren's final word seems to be seeing good through the bad. David had to navigate a world that was not built for him. And he did that with grace. He did that with bravery. Torres, News Channel 5.